Hey guys, it's the Techie Biochemist here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change your VMD uh, native directory. So what do I mean by that? Well, if we come in here and um, and try to open up VMD and open up the TK console, you'll see that up here it's the folder it's opened in is VMD. Now that's actually in your program files and essentially it's going to make it so it's like practically impossible for you to actually access the files that you generate um, if you do write PDB or anything like that. So if you've worked with VMD before, you're probably used to having to go through the whole song and dance of something like this, where you go uh, up a couple levels and then you say users, the techie biochemist um, Oh, that didn't work. There we go. Okay. It was up an additional level. So now I'm in the tutorial folder, um, which is this over here. And I can prove that by typing ls, and you'll see the list of all the stuff I've got in here, right? Including like the NAMD folder and the charm folder. All matches up. But having to go through that whole song and dance every single time I open VMD is a giant pain in the butt, right? So let me show you how to change that and switch it so that in future, when you open, it's already in that folder you want. So the way you're going to do that is um, you're going to go to your C drive, then into program files, then University of Illinois, then hit VMD. And down here, you're going to find a file called VMD.RC. It may just be listed as VMD. Um, with RC file listed over here, but whichever one, that's that's what you're looking for. I'm going to open it in Notepad. Um, you might have to tell your computer to open it with the file note or with the uh, application Notepad, but once you're in there, you're going to type in cd c colon slash, and here's where you're going to put in your designation. In my case, it's going to be users the techie biochemist slash tutorial. So my tutorial folder is in my user folder, so I don't have to put all that much information. Now I just save this, and now if I open up VMD, it's already opened in my tutorial folder. And you can see that uh, it's saying tutorial up here, and if I say ls, it's giving me the same information. So yeah, that now I don't have to do any additional directory moving around unless I want to go to an even lower directory. But if I just start typing in commands, all of my stuff is going to be generated. Um, or if I use auto PSF or anything like that, all of that stuff is going to show up here without me having to do any further navigation. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you had any trouble and what problems with VMD or NAMD you'd like me to show you how to address next. Have a good day.